All right, guys, this is Death Limbo and uh, from Death Limbo Customs, and I wanted to show you guys here my uh, Carnage, my interpretation of Carnage. I, uh, this is my very first video. Go easy on me, guys, all right? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I got the uh, Hasbro action figure Carnage, and uh, I liked the sculpt, but I didn't like the way it was, the, the, the paint job was just horrible. I hated the paint job, and I always figured that he should look meaner, more, more menacing, you know? In the comic books, I always liked the fact that he was, you know, the psychopath, the one that was very dangerous, and I figured as a figure, he should be the same, you know. So everything that you see that sticks out of him is uh, is very, very sharp. All this, as you can see, let me see if I can show you. All this are actually uh, bobby pins. That, like see, this, for example, is a bobby pin sharpened, kind of like a Wolverine claw. And uh, these are nails sharpened all the way to very, very. I mean, by the end of the day, when I was finishing with this guy, it just my hands were all cut up and beat up, you know. And uh, yeah, it's. I always figured he should be something that was dangerous to even handle. Uh, for these, I use the twisty ties. I even sharpened them, as, as you can see. And you can still kind of let me see if I can show you. You can still kind of bend them, not too much, though, because some of the paint rubs off. I try to take as much as a uh, 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 seal it, but even then, it's still kind of hard. And uh, I'll tell you, I'll tell you step by step what I did with this guy. So not only that, not only did I do the bobby pins and the nails, but even for his mouth, as you can see, they're actually small little bobby pins about that size that I cut up and sharpened like crazy, and I inserted each and every individual of them and they're very 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 sharp and uh, it was a lot of fun making this figure for the uh, for the for the bumps that you see here as you can see it bumps up a little bit I used a hot glue for all this I used hot glue back here as well to add a little bit more of a chaotic look more of a carnage all this um, yeah more of a carnage look and uh, for his hands I used a spawn uh, figure I didn't like the way his hands were. They were the, the for the original one. I thought they were too goofy looking. I, I didn't like it at all. So I wanted to make him look like a more like a menacing look, more evil. And uh, yeah, overall, I think it came out looking pretty darn good. Uh, I still feel like I can do a lot more. And that's the thing when you when you customize, you know, when you customize, you can even to me, anyways. I always feel like I have to add more. There's always more to add, and it's never finished. But you know, overall, I think it came out okay. Now. For all you articulated comic book artists out there that like to make uh, those scenarios, he's very, very posable, very posable. So you can pose him beating the crap out of Spider-Man or with Venom, and uh, all his articulation is still, still there. I didn't hinder any of it. It's still all there, as you can see. Head swivels back and forth, up and down, and uh, that's what I like about it, you know. And then uh, to me, I made customs. I mean, I've been doing this for about three. Three and a half years now, almost four, and uh, this was one of my first ones. And I always wanted to be part of my collection. Oop, there he goes, he fell down. Always wanted to, to make them part of my collection, and then and they are, you know. But right now, uh, I figured, you know what, might as well try to see if I can sell them online. And uh, he will be online by the end of the week, I think. I think what's today, Sunday. Yeah, he'll be on the on eBay on Monday, I think. Tomorrow, yeah, he'll be on eBay tomorrow. So hopefully, if I take out this video. It's probably going to be tomorrow. No, it's already Monday today, so it's in the morning. But, uh, yeah, you know, uh, so if you guys enjoy it, please let me know. Comment what you think, what I could have done better. You know, if I uh, if I, if I completely fucked him up and shit, just let me know. But, um, yeah, just, uh, and for the paints, I forgot to tell you the paints. The, the paints that I use were the Citadel paints, the Games Workshop paints, which I really recommend for any... Um, any customizer out there, and I sealed them with the mate, uh, the same thing, the same, the same company, uh, Citadel Citadel Paints and Game Workshops. So he doesn't have he doesn't have paint rub, and uh, yeah, you know, let me know what you think. Uh, please subscribe and uh, let me know what you think. Rate and comment, and uh, I'll try to show you more of my customs. Uh, most likely, I'll put them on eBay as well. I don't do commissions, sad to say. I'm not that I'm saying that anybody would want my commissions. But, uh, you know, please let me know what you think. Enjoy.